Hey everyone, it's Matt from another major Canadian city because I'm just doing the Canadian tour nowadays. I'm in Toronto now and I'll probably be heading home today so somewhere along the way I'm going to find a restaurant or maybe, maybe I'll end up in Buffalo, New York or something and I'm going to watch that game. No way I'm missing the U.S. versus Germany. Too much on the line. Let's go through it just in case you don't know the scenarios for it. The U.S. is playing Germany. If they win, they win the group in their first, which would be great, but a little unlikely. Not, no offense to the United States, but the chances of them beating Germany are pretty bad right now. If we tie, which is a, a lot more likely than a win, if we tie, we finish second in the group, and Germany finishes first, which would serve both parties, not saying that they should agree to a tie, but, you know, if we did tie, everyone in the United States would be happy. So... Those are the two if we get a point or three points out of it. If we lose, then it gets a little more complicated. If we lose, then Ghana, who is two below us in goal differential, but then we also have the uh, we also have the head to head, so they need to score three more than so okay, if we lose by one, they need to score. They need to beat Portugal by two so that they can move up by three in goal differential. So that, that addition helps there. So Ghana needs to move up by three in goal differential when they beat Portugal. Now, if Portugal wins and we lose, Portugal's going to have to make up a whole lot. If we lose by one, Portugal's going to have to score, I guess, four. And in doing so, it would be a miraculous game. So Portugal's chances of making it are about 1% right now. Ghana, though, if, if we lose, Ghana... Yes, they're going to have to win, but they don't have to do nearly as much as Portugal has to do. So watch out for Ghana. We're obviously going to be watching both scores. Now, the U.S. The US game, we need to attack. We need to, we need to play some consistent offense, kind of like what we did against Portugal. Um, we kind of lost a little bit of it by the end of the game, which is why Portugal ended up scoring in the 90, I think it's the 95th minute. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we connected pass as well. Graham Zussi played well. Michael Bradley had flashes of goodness, but uh, still has not broken out like we wanted him to. Jermaine Jones had that shot. Otherwise, he did make a couple mistakes. But still, if we can get our midfield to connect to Clint and maybe whoever else is playing up top, um, I think we'll be able to be more successful against Germany if we play that way than if we play like we did against Ghana, where we just retreated and played defense the whole time, which against the Germany team, they're not as speedy as a Portugal team, but man, they are efficient. They'll, they'll score against you if you give them a chance. So you can't, you can't retreat for the United States. You can't play for the tie. You've got to play for the win and hope that a tie comes out of it. Now, I don't know what Jurgen Klinsmann's, Klinsmann's thinking, but I, I think the lineup that we had against Portugal is pretty dang good. I mean, we should have beaten Portugal, so it's not like we weren't successful in what we were trying to do. I think Michael Bradley needs to be strong here because we need to get those balls out of the midfield, get some nice runs going down the field. Zussi made some great ones. If we can get Clinton in a good position to score, we're going to set up some good opportunities. I'm calling a tie. I'm calling a 1-1 tie. I think it's going to end that way. I think the United States is going to take second in the group. But... I don't have time to do this anymore because I gotta go out and, and you know visit some things, be a tourist in Toronto. So you guys back home, cheer for the United States. I'm gonna be somewhere in Buffalo, New York, posting some updates. So watch throughout the day. USA, Germany, it's going down today. Everyone get excited. I believe that we will win.